We are delighted to welcome one and all to the June 2022 program of JW Broadcasting. So for the, uh, the first talk, we have uh, Brother Garrett Loesch of the Governing Body. He will speak on the subject, Cultivate Love That Never Fails. At Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven, 37, Jesus encouraged cultivating love for God to the fullest extent possible. You must love Jehovah your God with your whole heart and with your whole soul and with your whole mind. Your head and your mind and your brain, too. How does love for Jehovah grow? We must tend to the good soil of our heart, figurative heart, where the seed of this organization, the governing body, kingdom truth was sown. How does love between two persons grow? One way is by communication. We communicate with Jehovah through prayer. Jehovah communicates with us through the Bible and his organization. You just made it up. If we study the Bible and read it daily, as well as attend the congregation meetings, our love for him will continue to grow. Love needs to grow. It is not a matter of how much we know, but how much we love what we know. Construction work earthwide is growing. Head knowledge is not enough. There needs to be heart knowledge. Growing in love is a process. A plant grows when it is watered. Love grows if it is watered with the water of truth. You can't handle the truth! In Philippians chapter 1, verse 9, Paul says, And this is what I continue praying, that your love may abound yet more and more. Love grows gradually. It is not enough to have a little love. We should abound in love. Jehovah sets the example. He expressed his love by providing the ransom. In Matthew chapter 18, Jesus compares Jehovah with a king who was willing to forgive a debt of 60 million denarii, or 10,000 silver talents. Our word of the day is exchange rate. This looks like two grand to me. This looks like five thousand dollars. This certainly impresses his love for us. Jesus expressed his love by being willing to die for our sins. This stirs our love in return. The more one has been forgiven, the more one will love. Pardon? The more one has been forgiven, the more one will love. And that is our scriptural position of having two witnesses a requirement for judicial action if there's no confession. Think about it. 